Okay, ready, coach. All right, guys, obviously a tough night. We didn't perform like we're supposed to do at LSU. It's my responsibility. I throw that to the team. Obviously, we're going to look at it uh, schematically. Uh, where we got to get better, which is a lot of areas. Uh, physicality at, at the point of attack. Uh, run the football better, stop the run, eliminate the explosive plays. Uh, those things that we have to address and get better real quick. Uh, one game does not define a season, but we do understand that uh, that was a letdown for our fans, and I take responsibility for it. We've got to get better. This meeting is being recorded. Hey, Ed, Wilson Alexander from The Advocate. Yeah. Last year, obviously, you mentioned like miscommunications and things like that caused the defensive issues. Was it similar stuff tonight or something different yeah. that you noticed yeah, well, on no, the ball? We had some similar stuff, crossing routes, uh, missed assignments. Uh, you know, those things uh, continue to hone us and hurt us. We have to get them fixed. I thought that we did a pretty good job in camp of getting them fixed, but obviously, we've got to look at what we're doing. Uh, and still eliminate those crossing routes and those busting coverage and why we busted them. And then also uh, eliminate having an uh, open gap in the run defense. Now, whether we got knocked off the ball or it's an open gap, I need to look at it on film. Yeah, uh, Ed, uh, judging from the running game, what you saw in preseason scrimmages, is this kind of what you maybe feared tonight would happen? I mean, just you just didn't get nothing from the running yeah. game. I agree. We got to first of all, we got to be more diverse. Uh, we got to have we have to have multiple runs for multiple sets, which we didn't do tonight. Uh, we got to get that fixed. It's going to get fixed immediately. We got to be phys more physical at the point of attack. Neither of those things happened tonight, as far as what I could see. But again, I need to look at the film before I say anything. That about physicality, a point of attack. I just need to look at the film. And obviously, Max was under a good amount of pressure today. Just how did you see how he kind of handled some of that pressure? Yeah, you know, I, I, I thought at times he handled pressure well. Okay, he could scramble and make plays with his feet, but I thought at times he was off. Uh, we missed some big plays, or we threw some balls in the dirt. Uh, we missed we missed some plays. And then again, I think you know, hot and cold. I mean, he made some good plays, but he, he wasn't as consistent as we need as LSU quarterback. Coach Badgeret, WBRZ, uh, just, I know you haven't looked at the film, but what was one of the main issues why you couldn't set the edge tonight? Guys just running around. Yeah, big yeah obviously you got to get off a block, number one. Fitz, uh, they gave us a lot of motion and some shifts, and our, our force changed. But uh, number one is technique, number two is alignment. Coach, what's most disappointing about this? You know, obviously the loss. Uh, I felt good about this football team going in. I feel bad for the guys in there, the new coaching staff. They wanted to do very good. They've been working very hard, but you look and we had like 50 yards rushing and they had 200 something yards rushing. Uh, you know, they were all over the quarterback and ma they made some big plays and we gave up big plays on defense again. So those are the things that are reoccurring. We've got to get them fixed. Coach, did you feel like the passing game just seemed like half a second off? Yeah, like all night long. a lot. And second, real quick, John Emery, do you know when you get him back? Yeah, John Emery, uh, he's, it was unavailable for this game. I think it was going to be week by week. I don't know when we're going to get him back yet. I'm not sure of. And going back to the passing game, you know, I wish we could have hit Kayshawn Butte earlier, uh, gave him the football. Uh, I think that the, we had some wide receivers that were open, like you said, was a step, uh, uh, a second off of the pass or protection wasn't there. It just wasn't clicking. Ed, uh, how, do you, how do you explain losing the line of scrimmage on both sides against the, you know, a team like UCLA that's really not known for um, you know, playing physical football? Yeah, well, uh, first of all, they played physical football. <laughs> and they, and they, they've gotten a, a better offensive line. Uh, they got two good running backs that are very physical. So tonight they played physical football. But that doesn't mean that it's any excuse for not playing physical. We should have been better. We should have been better on both sides of the football, and we weren't. And you, you basically have two, you know, brand new coordinators, first time coordinators. Yeah. Really, how would you just kind of evaluate how they did uh, today? Well, I think the guys work hard. I think they're trying. I think that we we're off a little bit. You know, uh, we could have put our players in best, in better positions, uh, in a lot of places. 
then again, when you call something and it's a good defense and you don't execute, then you got trouble. But you know what? When you don't play like that, it goes down to one person. That's me, nobody else. Coach, what I'm hearing from you is it just sounds like UCLA was tougher tonight. I'm not saying that. Uh, uh, yeah, going going back to the line of scrimmage and just uh, you know toughness or more physical, however you want to characterize. It. I mean, how do you, you know how do you how do you explain that? Well, we got to look at it. You know, see see what uh, see what's happening. See may, it maybe is the plays that we're calling. Uh, maybe we're overloaded in one spot. Maybe we're not. Uh, look at the techniques that we're doing. Look at the personnel. Uh, again, I think uh, for us in the run game, we need more of a variety of runs. We need to use, use our athletes, get them in space a little bit more. I think on defense is a matter of fitting out gaps and understanding what we're doing. Uh, it's the first time in the in Durante's defense and un the understanding of the defense and the gap fits. And no excuses, but is this the difference when a team plays a game and then other teams play their first game? You know, it can, can go something it, to do with it? it can go both ways. You know, I felt like we were a little rusty. The, you know, we came out on offense really good. I felt our guys, you know, we need to get, get a game underneath their belt. I thought there was a point in the game we settled down, uh, but then we just couldn't stop. We just couldn't stop, you know, the big plays that they were making. We couldn't stop making mistakes. Thank you, Coach. All right, guys. Go Tigers.